November 16th, 2020 Daily Math Review. Select the ratio that is equivalent to 16 to 12. All right, so um, we have A, B, C, and D here. Um, so we're going to figure out, okay, which, er which ratio is equivalent or equal to, um, which is. So not is not, but is. So what I'm going to do is set up each of my little butterfly ways. So we're going to figure out which is equivalent to 16 to 12. So the first ratio, um, I just took this in colon form and I put it in fraction form. So 16 to 12, 16 to 12. So A, I'm going to put here, I'm going to put 8 to 7. Ah, maybe I don't have the little thingies. There we go. Okay, but... Alright, let's see. Let's move this over here. So sorry. Alright, so what we're going to have is 8 here to 12, or to 7 here. Alright, I'm going to set them all up first. Uh, 4 to 3. I'm going to put 4 up here. 3 down here. C says 12 to 8, 12 to 8, and D says 24 to 16, which I should probably make that a little smart. There we go. All right, now let's go ahead and cross multiply. So when we cross multiply, you can use your, um, you can use your numbers here. They are a little bit smaller in the middle, so we can um, save some room. Uh, first thing over here, if we have 16 times 7, when you do that work, 16 times 7 is 112. So I'm going to put 112 in this box here. Ah, it's a little big. There we go. All right, so that's 112. Now let's see, 12 times 8. If you do 12 times 8, you get 96. So is 96 and 112 equal? No, those are different numbers. So that means this 8 to 7 is not equal to it. So I'm going to actually put that in red so we know that's not equal to it. Let's take a look at B. So 4 to 3. So let's look 4 to 3 up here. All right, so I know 16 times 3. When you do 16 times 3, you get 48. When you do 12 times 4, you get 48. So that... If we look at these two numbers, 48 and 48, they are equal. So that means that that is equal to it. But let's double check all the other ones to make sure that we're correct. All right, so 16 times 8. I know 16 times 8 is 128. So I'm going to make that a little smaller. And then 12 times 12 I know is 144. So 144 and 128, are those the same? Nope, so it's not C. All right, let's take a look at the last one. 16 times 16 is 256. 256, ah, <laughs> there we go. And then 12 times 24 is going to be 288. So is 288 and 256 equal? Nope, it is not. So the only one that we are correct with that it is equal to is 4 to 3. So we're going to put our circle around B, 4 to 3. Great job.